Let me ask a, a question about um, two very small communities in, in Alaska, Gamble and Savunga. They are located um, on St. Lawrence Island out in the middle of the Bering Sea. You want to talk about remote. It does not get any more remote than Gamble and Savunga. Mm -hmm. uh, they're communities that have roughly 700 people each. The only way you can get there is, is by airplane, and more often than not, the weather is, is, is not very forgiving. The existing facilities are old, 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 and, and really run down. I have seen the facility there at, uh, at Savunga, um, but it is, they are, they're simply unacceptable in terms of, of their condition. The Norton Sound Health Corporation, along with um, some very dedicated folks from Gamble and Savunga, have, have tried to get federal financing to construct new clinics. They were in to visit with me about a month ago. Um, we, we sent a letter to, uh, to the department um, and we're told that the current IHS healthcare facilities priority list has a $2 billion <laughs> backlog of projects and that you can't add any new projects mm. to the list, mm -hmm. which for the people of Gamble and Savunga is incredible. They're saying, you've got to be kidding me. There's, there's no way to, uh, to, to possibly um, provide some upgrades to a situation that is in desperate need. Um, so first of all, I want to know whether or not that is still your position, that they cannot be added to the list. And second, uh, I want to ask about the, the small ambulatory clinic program. Um, for the first time since 2008, the agency has requested funds for this program. There's $10 million in it. Right. Would, would Gamble and Savunga be eligible for funding for this program if funds were to be provided? Uh, as you can probably understand, the, the, the people in these two communities are, are really um, most desperate and are seeking some answers. So if, if you can provide me something here today, that would be helpful. Uh, thanks, Senator. Um, uh, I certainly can appreciate your frustration. Um, I get frustrated too. Um, you know, as you correctly mentioned, we have uh, a list of priority projects that actually gets approved by Congress, and there is a $2 billion backlog. Um, I wish that uh, we had more flexibility with the list. Unfortunately, that's the way the system is set up. Um, if, uh, you know, uh, so I think adding to the list, um, you know, there would, the way, you know, we, we don't actually have flexibility at IHS. Congress dictates how we have to move through the list. So, um, you know, I uh, appreciate your frustration. In terms of other options or trying to think creatively uh, how to address these issues, and I know you've raised the small ambulatory clinic, uh, if I may defer to Mr. Hartz to see, um, uh, you know, his thoughts on that. Mr. Hartz. Thank you, Senator. The, uh, the small ambulatory program is one of the programs to be considered for Savunga and Gamble. Uh, <clears throat> there are criteria, and we'd be happy to send, you know, in, in advance of even the uh, solicitation, we would go ahead and send to Manilik, you know, what the criteria were when we last implemented the program so that they can get some idea of the specifics of that. Uh, furthermore, uh, we understand that <clears throat> those two locations are considering applying a, under tribally built program for equipment, and they certainly would be uh, strongly considered in for equipment dollar support, you know, should they move forward uh, as a tribally built facility. So there are some options available, and the most popular program is the JV joint venture program that's been utilized throughout Indian country. And that would be another option should they consider the, the next solicitation. Well, thank you, Mr. Hartz and Ms. Smith. Um, know that we will continue to try to work with you on this. And uh, Ms. Smith, I know it is a long way out of, of, of the path of Anchorage or Fairbanks where you will likely be. But I do think that when you visit, uh, it, it would be most important to get out to some of our smaller villages and, and see uh, the needs and, and how isolation um, 
really makes imperative the, the need to have some facilities 